A 30-year-old dance teacher from Memphis, Tennessee, who previously appeared on a reality TV show, has been sentenced to nine months in prison after admitting to exposing a 16-year-old boy to HIV. According to the reports, the 30-year-old met the teenager online, and shortly after, they engaged in unprotected sex. The teenager told detectives, We've had sex multiple times in his car, and he never once told me throughout our whole relationship that he was HIV positive. We exchanged explicit text messages. We shared nude photos, but he ain't never tell me his status. Eventually, the 16-year-old told his parents about the relationship and how he felt he needed to be tested after hearing someone he had been sleeping with was HIV positive. Two other individuals, ages 17 and 24, also have pending cases against the 30-year-old because they too said they had unprotected sex with him and he never told them about his status. Listen, this is starting to happen more and more. You got people walking around out here hurt. They hurt and angry because they got infected. So now they out here trying to get as many people sick as they can, because like they say, hurt people hurt people. And to my teenage boys and girls, let me talk to y'all right quick. There's people out here praying on y'all because they know that y'all are at a point in y'all life to where y'all think y'all grown, but y'all not grown yet. And that right there is what they looking for. You and your mama not getting along. You feel like you too old to be telling her who calling and who texting your phone. That's perfect for them because they goal is to separate y'all anyway. They don't want y'all talking to nobody that's going to talk sense into y'all. Young people, if you don't believe nothing I'm telling you, believe this. Don't be in a rush to grow up. Take your time. Don't fall into the hands of these predators out here because they're going to destroy you and they're going to enjoy every minute of it. In the books of Romans, the scripture says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. We got to change our mindset. Just because somebody done you wrong, that don't give you the green light to go out into the world and hurt everybody that you come in contact with. And I'm going to say this before I go. Nine months, nine months in prison is not enough time for what this guy did. Because that 16-year-old, he got to live with that disease for a lifetime.